Now we're going to turn to those fields of artificial turf being installed more and more on school playgrounds and athletic fields. There are an estimated 3,500 of them across the country. They're easily maintained and said to be safe. But new concerns about health hazards have led to an investigation by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Here's ABC's Sharon Alfonsi. It's become part of the American landscape. He may go! Synthetic turf, durable and soft, it's everywhere, from stadiums to neighborhood soccer fields. But now, questions over whether those fields are safe. Health officials in New Jersey randomly tested synthetic turf fields across the state. Two of the fields had lead levels so high, they closed them. The values ranged anywhere from eight to ten times what would have been allowable in a soil sample. Scientists say the lead may come from the nylons used to create blades of grass. Over time, that nylon breaks down and it creates a fine dust. That dust can be inhaled. And of course it can be ingested. People use the fields, their hands get dirty, their face gets dirty, they wipe their hands on their, on their mouths. But the questions don't stop with just the lead in the grass blades. A study in Connecticut last summer looked at the rubber granules that make up the artificial soil. When heated, the turf emitted chemicals that could irritate the eye, skin, and respiratory system. One of those chemicals is believed to be a carcinogen. The fact is the stuff doesn't stay on the field. It comes home with the kids. Patricia Taylor doesn't let her son play soccer on synthetic fields. She says the fields need to be studied. We've got our children playing in what's virtually a hazardous waste dump, I think. The Synthetic Turf Council, which represents manufacturers, says in 40 years, not one person has ever reported ill effects related to the material composition or the fibers. They maintain their products are safe. But a turf war is unfolding with thousands of cleated soldiers on the front lines. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.